Well, hello and welcome back to Pixel Piracy. We are in version 0.4.9.9. Some bugs have been squashed since the last time I played. Others have been born, as is the way of things with Alpha Games. But I have had enough of a wait. I think most of the annoying bugs have probably been addressed or at least lessened in some capacity. So it is time for a new game. Right, we are going to be having Captain... Uh, Metasapia. Captain Metasapia. There we go. I hope I've spelt that right. In the world of Lana. And we shall start the game now. Right. What do we think about Lana? Um, let's go for an unpleasant a province filled with dire corners and unrelenting troubles. In the most recent event that happened in the land, uh, let's go for a meteorite, or rather a rare comet flyby, brought long bad omens. And finally, how do we remember our father? He was a cowardly sailor that went by the name Pone Pants. No, 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 no. 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 Midasapia is a lady. Uh, okay, you are a lady with purple hair. Well done, Midasapia. All right, let's see what kind of surly crew we can hire. Come on, let's go. Let's go have a look. We're level three. Hmm, let me just check that out. What's that? That's uh, some weird sort of badge. Maybe showing that this is the captain. Uh, Major Simeon is lazy, always slacking off when nobody is looking. Uh, is of sickly build. A strong wind could push them, <laughs> them over. Was a home wrecker. <laughs> they would seduce spouses and blackmail them for money. The last governor they crossed didn't pay and instead decided to hire an assassin <laughs> to trail them. My god, Metasapia, you're a bit of a nasty person, aren't you? Goodness gracious me, but look at all of this extra info. So vitality going up gives you extra armor now as well as life on level up. Dexterity gives you extra XP gain. Ooh, now that's a good bonus. I like that, though I would have imagined that would go for intelligence, but perhaps this is a way of getting dexterity to actually have more meaning outside of just ranged damage. Agility increases dodge and movement speed and attack speed, and luck increases critical percent and events. Ooh, that's very, very interesting. Give a pass as a Metasapia. No, we don't have one. Alas. Basic attack, and that is it. Okay, well, let's go and uh, see who we can hire. Right. What have we got here? We've got a singer, a fisherman, okay, that's uh, possible, and what? A compant? Mm, um, is that meant to be an accountant? I'm not sure. That's probably a word I just haven't seen before. A captive, an archaeologist, a used boats salesman, a captive, a rustler, a cooper, or an anchor smith. <laughs> you smithed anchors. Uh, I might go for used boat salesman out of these because it has something to do with boats. Um, start value of 84, though. That's not actually that high for someone who's worth 368. In fact, that's, that seems fairly low. Hmm. But you're worth 332 and you've only got a start value of 66. That's, that's terrible. You've got a start value of 70. And yet you're only... Ooh. Okay, we need to start looking at the actual stat values, I think. You're 270 and you've got 85 stat value. That's more than the used boat salesman. But it's whether you come with any decent skills is the question. But I'm going to go for this. Marvin Lutz. Let's check out Marvin. You've got silver. I'm not sure what these means. That captain first mate? I, I doubt it, but... Um, you've got a bit, a bit of extra move speed... We could put some points into things here. You're really close to getting some extra TP on level up. Hmm. I'll hold off for now. 135 salary you cost. Okay. Well, ooh, you got. Let's keep on the move, shall we? All right, what kind of... Ah, uh, you don't have a fishing rod. That's a shame. That is a great shame, in fact. Oh, well. Nothing much we can do about that. What about you? We could buy some rum. We don't need much yet. There's loads of pearls over here, though, so let's uh, get our crewman over here as well. Right, first and foremost, we want fast learner for our captain, followed by, I would say, hmm, we could go for, well, 
of all of these, really, it's sailing or map reading, and we can only... Oh, we can't even afford map reading, so we're going to have to wait for a little bit in order to get that. Maybe won't have to wait very long, since we can just go and uh, kill these uh, clams for their pearls, hopefully. Alright, let's go over here and start this fight, shall we? So we want you dead, you dead, you dead, and you dead, of course. Oh, that's an interesting little uh, effect we've got there. I wonder if that's letting me know how many people are attacking this like this. Ooh. Did you just come along and fight as well? Might have. Interesting. Hmm. Are they critical sounds, perhaps? Might be. And we just leveled up. Who leveled up? Well done. I'm going to put uh, extra points in there, but a lot of his stats just went up by one anyway, which is quite nice to see. Agility we could put up. Strength is already pretty good. Uh, we want HP regen, really. But I'm going to hold on to that, because we're going to want to get you cleaning sooner rather than later, I feel. Yeah. Because that'll affect our morale on the ship, as one might expect, being on a ship covered in poo, we want Marvin to be cleaning all of that up, because Meditation is not going to be doing it. He's a bloody captain. Right, carry on. Seems that uh, the graphics have been improved, and the uh, UI certainly offers a bit more information now, which is very nice to see. There we go, another pearl. Right, come on then. Let's go and sell these pearls, and pick up some extra learning box. We want to sell two pills and then buy map reading and cleaning. Okay, that's all we need for now. <clears throat> However, we might get rid of these knives instead of, st uh, in favor of stilettos, if you've got them. You do. Two stilettos, please. Fantastic. Let's get those set up. So, one stiletto, level one. Is that right? Yes, good. And one for uh, Metasapia as well. There we are. Exit. Hmm. Now, Mervyn has got the high, the big uh, medal there. Perhaps it's based on the value of their skills. I can only assume that to be the case. Oh my goodness, that's going to cost. That's going to take ages to get to. Right, we want. Uh, Minisapia to learn map reading. Mervin will be holding on to that soon. You've got an agility of 59? I failed to notice that before. Considering you're lazy, that's amazing. You are a move speed of plus 5% and a dodge speed of plus 3%. Ye gads, is all I have to say to that. But I'm going to start putting some points into int and then into strength. Because we want that uh, critical damage, uh, sorry, the extra strength added damage to each attack when using the stiletto, I feel. Alright, let's build our boat then. Uh, ship setup. Now, this shall be, I have been told, the HMS Hamtaro. Which is a surprisingly interesting looking game, I must say. How I missed this for so long, I have no idea. But I did, and I feel bad. I am, of course, referring to uh, Metasapia's recent Twitch stream of Hamtaro. Ah, the old games that I've missed, I don't know. Right, everyone get onto the ship. Chop, chop. You as well, Mervin. We have places to go, people to plunder. Though this music actually sounds quite relaxing. I'm almost tempted to stay. Oh, really? Seagull, really? I only just built the ship. Couldn't you have waited? I hope Mervyn levels up soon. Okay, let's see what we can find. We've got a pirate over here. Let's uh, go and introduce ourselves. And by that, I mean stab them in the face and steal their ship. Or rather, steal the things on the ship and then blow the ship up. Okay, I think... Mervyn, did you just level up? You did. You crazy fool. You are leveling up stupid fast. But now you can clean the ship. Well done, Mervyn. Your reward for being clever is having to clean poo off the deck. Yeah, the world isn't fair, I agree. Alright, we're going to start pumping up your vitality. Ooh, what's that then? Oh, I think that's telling me what kind of skills they've got. 
That's interesting, because I'm fairly certain that that is the skill of a sailor, that, that icon, or at least it used to be, but uh, not anymore. But while we're here, let's check out Mervyn Lutz's stats. He is courageous, this pirate stands out in martial prowess and never backs down. He is well built, hard labour, is no stranger to the pirate, and he was a cooper. He would make wooden casks and barrels, but decided he wanted to take rum, not house it. Very, very wise. Will you, will you clean up? Mervyn? No? You don't intend to clean. Well, why did I just give you that skill? Right, okay, I'm really sorry about this. Oh, actually, I'm not. <laughs> I am totally not sorry at all. Let's uh, get both of you down there to attack, please. Engage. That's right. Fantastic attack speed there. He's taking forever to attack us. Ooh, what did you drop? You... You literally just kicked his body off the ship. Fantastic. I like that. What did we just pick up? Two grindstones and a chef's knife. Oh, okay, let's uh, use some of those grindstones, shall we? Uh, right. Let's just have a look at those stats. And our attack speed is improved. That's good. I'll also give one to Mervyn. Mm, your attack speed is much lower, but then again, uh, Mentis Sapia does have a very high agility. I think your attack speed improved there as well. The chef's knife will hold on to until someone's actually uh, able to cook, but we can hire someone else now. Right, let's get back to the ship, and hopefully Mervyn will clean it as soon as he notices that there's poo all over the deck. No? Not, not in the mood? Ah, there we go. You've remembered why I gave you that skill book. Fantastic. Got a little bit of gold. Will you please clean? No? That's terrible. I wonder if it's just a time-based thing. Ooh, wow. We suddenly see a remarkable amount of stuff around us. You guys. Right. Kos uh, Kuswati. Okay. We've got loads of islands. Some danger one pirates. A danger two neutral. Okay, we're going to take on this pirate, and then I think we're going to sail all the way over there to that pirate. We might check out that town first, though. All right. Renown is only 95. We need to improve this. No one's going to be afraid of the dread pirate Metisapia with only 95 renown. Yay, you realize why I gave you the skill. Fantastic. All it required was for me to look away to take a sip of tea. What's our encounter? Why, well, yes, we want to react. Or interact, I should say. <laughs> our reaction is to interact. Okay, so it's just you again, and you got some fish there. I'm kind of sorry about this. But you actually have quite a nice little boat, and it's, it's a nice colour as well. It's like a, a light colour. You're probably a, uh, I don't know, flag and half full kind of pirate. <laughs> Fantastic. I love the fact that they dump their corpses overboard as well. Right, what have we got? Some more grindstones? And a kaboom. Uh, I don't like kabooms. They cause death more than they do anything else, in my opinion. Alright, let's get rid of that ship. Did we get any fish from them? No? Well, that is a shame. But we will check out the grindstones. So, come on. Have we got anything? I don't think that helped. Damn. What about you? And again, I don't think that actually helped. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. We're going to keep hold of the TP that you've got there, I think. And we'll go check out that neighbouring town. Good. We're moving past this island. So we're not going to have to interact with the neutral danger there. Because if we'd sailed that way, we'd probably have had to uh, either flee or interact with it. Can we go? Did I click on... No, I didn't. <laughs> Oops. Go, go, go. Now, we've got quite a lot of money there. We'll probably be able to get a decent new crew member. And maybe even some decent skills as well. I wouldn't mind a wooden wheel to expedite the passage between locations. Let me check on my crew a second. Oh, nice. We can now have two new people. Right, Mid-Sapia. I would very much like you... 
Oh my god, look at that agility going up. That is amazing. And vitality is going up by itself. I'm going to put a few points into intelligence. Just bring it up to 10. And dexterity up by 1. There we go. Plus 2 EXP gain. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So it looks like every 10 decks you get something out of that. That is very, very nice. But uh, I'm going to keep moving, hanging on there with his TP, and we'll see what we can do with that. Is there a tavern? There is a tavern. Fantastic. And there is a skill merchant. Equally fantastic, because they weren't that good a selection of skills in the last place. Uh, what do you, my good lord? I would one day very much like to get these. Whoa, gun frenzy, four next range attacks, have no cooldown. My goodness, that sounds amazing. 20 strikes, 20 fast strikes. That'd be fantastic, 1,900. We're almost there. But that would probably take a ridiculous amount of TP in order to learn. I can only imagine that would cost ridiculous amounts. Ooh, more gold from plundering ships. That might be good. Sniper shot, bigger ranged weapon range. Combat evasion, can evade attacks, counter attack. Hmm... Fast learner I could get for Moon, but I don't think I will. Combat focus, teaches combat focus, plus crit chance. Okay. Cooking, teaches how to cook. Map reading, elixir. Uh, fishing, sailing, better sail speed. No. I think... Ooh, Doctor Aura. Recovers life of crew while sailing. That's an expensive skill. But I think that would be a very nice skill to have. Hmm. That's a lot of money right now. No, I'm I'm gonna go for cooking for now, I think. And map awareness. No, I'm gonna hold on to my money for now. I'm not gonna pick up map awareness just yet. We want another crew member. Stat value 94. 96. He was a rustler, he was a murderer. Hmm. I'm not sure that would be a very wise decision. He was a banker, 148 stat value. That is bonkers. He was a fishmonger, 330 would get me 115. A merchant, he was a gymnast, or gymnast. He was a samurai. Oh, I really would like to take a samurai, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go for the fishmonger. This may give some awesome skills with fishing as well. Not that we can yet thinking about it. Coal Heaver, the, the Welsh in me is saying that I should go for the Coal Heaver. But uh, just purely for the stat value, I might go for... Well, each stat after 100 is costing an extra two points there. Whereas each stat up to 100 is costing three. I guess this would be worth it. Yeah, I'll go for you. All right, let's check you out. What are you like? Well, you are definitely better than everyone else so far. Right, you've got vitality is probably going to be going up, and dexterity is probably going to be going up, so it means you're probably going to get a fairly high level fairly quickly. Let's uh, top up your extra TP as well. And I think the last four will go into damage. Now, we want another stiletto, so that means going back to our hometown to pick that up. And... Yeah, I think we well, could give you a knife for now. This does two damage every two seconds. This would do one damage every 1.39 seconds, but extra two damage on top. Um, hmm. Less knockback. I'm... I think I'm going to hold on to this until we get a stiletto. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make it back to the ship then. And head back towards the original town that we came from. And more importantly, the pirate that's nearby. And then we'll head back and possibly pick up a stiletto. Clean up, please. Or, or eat. That is also allowed. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Right. We want to go back over there. Are there any... Ooh. An event. Something might happen. Dare I? This is, this is near some pretty high-level dangers. I've not seen an event. My curiosity, my pirate curiosity, 
is getting the best of me. We must investigate. What kind of event are we going to find? Who knows? It'll probably kill us. This is pixel piracy after all. It's unlikely to be good, but I'm just too curious. Shark, please. I don't want to have to get a bigger boat. Ooh, okay, who just leveled up? Was that... It was Metasapia, fantastic. Ah, damn. I'm going to... Well, oh, HP regen is now no longer white, so it's not going to be going up as well. But agility and dex are just going up by themselves. Fantastic. I'm going to hold on to that TP. I want to get you... Um, what was it? Cooking. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe I'll hold on to that for... Firmin. And he's going to get an extra t uh, TP. I think it's generally better to have uh, your pirates spread out in terms of what skills they've got. Because if you give one pirate too many skills, they'll interfere with each other. Okay. He's had enough of this pointless sailing and is asking for... Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, no. I can't pay you, Mervyn. <sighs> pay? Pay? Ah, oh, I will kill you. Damn it, no. Don't. Oh, Mervyn, why? Why, Mervyn? Metasapien was a good pirate to you. Good pirate captain. And you've betrayed us. There is only one fate for a betrayer like you. And that is, you're going to get kicked off the boat. Oh, actually, maybe you won't, because you're the only one who cleans the boat. Damn it, Mervyn! <sighs> I hate being betrayed. On the plus side, we've got your stiletto. Which I can now give across to uh, Fermin. Fermin better not betray me the same way you did, you scurvy landlubber. That isn't actually a good insult for a pirate at all. But I'm distraught. My crew have turned on us. Damn it. Oh, so much for those bloody events. All right, let's head back to this town. It's got a long, long way, and we haven't got that much food. But, uh, well, actually, we could... Call on that island. Now I know to avoid those bloody events. Though, uh, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm probably going to go to the next one, I see. It's it's too interesting to avoid. My curiosity is too good. It's far higher level than my restraint. Oh, my breathing and fast learner are both improved. Excellent. Uh, what are we going to find at this island? Hostile encounter? Okay, let's find out. Oh, what levels are you? Um, this could be bad, but we're going to try it anyway. Attack him. Only him for now. Hmm. I may actually swap ship. I'm not sure, but uh, I might. Kill him quickly. Fantastic. Looks like we're going to win this fight. If only Mervyn could have waited until now to demand his salary. Stupid Mervyn. What did we just pick up? Fairly sure Metisapi just picked something up. Oh, I have no idea. It might have been something I can sell the next uh, uh, town we go to, perhaps. I'm not sure at all. But I'm really tempted to take this ship, honestly. Um... No. No, I'm not going to give up on the HMS Hamtaro. <laughs> I'm starting to wish I could. Right, we got some meat from that. That's actually not too bad. And a decent bit of food. Right, let's see. We need to get back here, please. No, don't go through the... Do we, do we have to? Must we? Well, I could... No, we'll go to this island first, and then we'll sail on from there. Rather than going straight through the level 2 pirates that may well be able to take us apart. Alright, let's uh, check on my crew. Have we got enough TP? No, not even close for you. You've got a reasonable amount, though. Let's uh, top that up. Get one extra TP now. And continue raising your strength for the time being. I can't believe Mervyn betrayed us like that. The swine. 
Alright, who have we got? We've got two people on this island and a tribal hook. What are these guys like? Ooh, they actually look like they could hurt us a fair bit. Is there anything else here? There is a chest. If Mervyn was here, it would be a no-brainer, but no. To battle! We are not cowardly pirates. Right, this may be famous last words, and I may have to run away, but uh, no. Get in there, fight them. I was about to say they don't seem interested in fighting us. That's rather interesting. Why? Why are you split up? No, no, this is not good. This is not a good idea. Please change your target quickly. No, why? Oh, this is going to go badly. Yes, it is going to go badly. Kill them quickly. Medisapia. It's all down to you now. I know you're not going to be able to do it, but damn it, you're going to go down fighting. This is what you always wanted. Oh. <laughs> you left your underwear. You see, this poses some interesting questions. One, why does using women's underwear give pirates extra training points? But two, why is there only women drop their underwear? Does this suppose that men don't wear any? Hmm. Are they all going commando? Because they, I, I've got to be honest, the, the hygiene situation in this world makes me wonder. I, hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't be wondering. There are some questions are best left unanswered. But that is the end of Metasapia and the HMS Hamtaro. Due to a stupid bloody mutiny. Or, well, it wasn't a mutiny. It was a betrayal by Mervyn. Oh, why? Why, Mervyn? But that is it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will be joining me for the next. Where maybe we will get a pirate that actually lasts longer than one episode. Who knows? But I shall leave that to the next episode. So until then, as always, do take care.